understand the importance of actually relationship building. Any, everyone in this room, it matters. Everyone, every relationship you have in this room matters. Because who you know now actually may help you get to the next part of your life. Like for example, my wife, this is my wife, Adrian. Everybody say, hey, Adrian. Hey. They ain't say Adrian, just say, hey. <laughs> I met her through a mentor of mine, a friend. He said, Troy, are you still sick? I said, nah, man, I'm not worried about that. I'm actually trying to get myself together. I'm trying to buy a condo. I'm trying to do things right. He said, man, you need to meet this woman. She go to church, good golly girl, blah, blah, and she can cook. <laughs> Cause my favorite dish is what? Macaroni and cheese on top of stuff. Macaroni and cheese shells. I don't need no baked. I don't need a regular. Just give me some Valveda, put on the, put on the stove. You don't have to do too much on how to cook, but with me, that's it. But she cooked real good. But the fact is, the whole point is that me actually getting to know DeAndre, who's a track person himself, actually introduced me to my wife. Relationship building. The jobs that I've had come from relationships. The time that I actually be able to come here with you all tonight come from relationships. Develop a relationship with Coach Thomas. And understand this too, strategic planning. Y'all, do anyone know the importance about writing things down? Put it on paper. Y'all heard of vision boards? Everybody do those, right? Put it on paper, write it down, make it plain. The memory, the universe work in, a certain, in, in an interesting way. All you have to do is just start putting it into play. I want to be successful with what I'm doing. I want to be the top whatever. Kudos to people that run cross country. Who run cross country? All of them at the one table, okay. <laughs> Bless y'all. I learned real quick that's not my destiny. So no matter how much I said I want to be fast and cross country or run fast, it wasn't going to happen. But writing things down, making it plain, plays an important part. It just creates memory. Writing it down makes it, it creates memory. Speaking it creates a memory. Because then when you actually start to do those things, you start saying, you know what? I said this a long time ago. It's a saying I got. The true outcome of having a mindset of successful thinking is having an unwavering expectation of successfully achieving a predetermined goal, knowing that the outcome was supposed to happen. The true outcome of having a mindset of successful thinking is having an unwavering expectation of successfully achieving a predetermined goal, knowing that the outcome was supposed to happen. I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to do the things I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be a uh, senior vice president of mortgage lending. That's what I told myself. I wrote it down on paper. I'm supposed to graduate. I'm supposed to get out the hood. I'm supposed to be able to pay my mama's bills at the time. I said it a long time. And when you start paying it, you start saying, you know what, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I might need to hold up a little bit. <laughs> be careful what a gas for. But the whole point is this. It's just knowing that everything happens with the thought process. The mindset of successful thing. I always tell them to write this book. But I never knew what I was going to write about until I wrote the book of the mindset of thinking successfully. Everything starts there. Here's another important um, currency. It's understanding important currency, and that is time. Time you got to invest wisely because you can't get it back. So the time you spend in school, the time you be here with your teammates, take it, take it actually as an important ingredient of life because You'll never be able to get those things back. You're going to be able to create those, create those relationships because that time was important. That's why we're here together. You were here for a purpose. Your story is important. Everything about you is important. 25 million people were raised up with our father in their household. Some people may be able to agree with that. Some people may not. But I was able to see that, you know what? I don't have to stay where I'm at or act a way, or be that way. I can actually go out and do something bigger than what I see around me every single day. So as you actually go throughout this year, this year is over. Is this the season over now to start a new one? We finished track country, and we are beginning indoor and outdoor track and track. So everyone else running track outside and indoor. I did track one time. Uh, no, yeah, I ran, I ran track. I mean, I didn't run track. <laughs> I did shot put. Yeah, they look, you look at that. Yeah, he must have did shot put or something. Mm. I did discus. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did shot put and discus. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But only when the time I did run, the time I did run is when the down period, I guess when everybody they they moving to the other spot, like people like, okay, we're getting the hurdle, people ready to get the track. So we did like the fat boy run or something like that. <laughs> and we did it 200 meters. I realized I was taking too long to get around a half turn. And that's when I said I need to stay doing shot put and discus. Uh, being a team is good, man. Life is about being a part of a team. It's important that you understand that, and I know it's hard, but they say there's no iron team, it really isn't. But as you continue to keep going forward, everything that you go through in life is not for you. Every hardship, every time you get up in the morning to go work out, when y'all, what time y'all get up in the morning to work out? Y'all got morning workouts? You understand it's not for me. It's for Carol <laughs> or Jason or whatever name you want to put in the blank. It's not every hardship I've gone through in life. I've realized it wasn't even for me. I'm struggling. I'm upset going through what I'm going through. And I find out that, oh, I told that story to Coach Thomas. Coach Thomas says, you know what? Thank you. Because now I feel I understand I'm not by myself. 